Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are driving into a fascinating AI concept called simple reflex agents. Have you ever wondered how traffic lights change spontaneously? Or how a vending machine knows exactly what snack to drop in? Now that's called reflex agents. Stick around as we break down how they work, why they matter, and even code our own reflex agent in Python. Let's bring AI to life. First thing first, what exactly is a simple reflex agent? In AI, a reflex agent is an intelligent agent that reacts to specific inputs from its environment without storing past experiences. It follows a set of predefined rules or actions based on the current situation. Let me explain in simple terms. Now think you're driving and you see a red light. Your immediate reaction is to stop, right? Now that's similar to how simple reflex agents function. They sense the environment and act based on a set of rules. A simple reflex agent operates based on condition action rules. These rules are simple, if then, this kind of statements, where an agent perceives an environment, checks the current condition and then performs an action. Let me show you a basic example to help you clarify this matter. Let's take a look at Python example where we are going to build a traffic light agent. This agent reacts to traffic conditions and time of a day, changing the light accordingly. To start with the agent class, we start by defining the traffic light agent class. In the init function, we are setting up the agent's initial state. Here the agent starts with a red light and we define empty list to keep track of the traffic conditions like the light changes and the time of the day across the cycles. The setup list will be useful for the visualization later on. Next, we have the perceive environment method, where the agent perceives its surroundings. It receives traffic condition and time of the day as inputs. And based on these inputs, it calls the take action function. Now let's take a look at agent's decision making process. The action method. Based on the traffic condition and the time of the day, the agent chooses one of these three actions, whether it's red, yellow, or green. The agent looks at the traffic condition and time of the day. Then it decides which light to show. We also incorporate a little history tracking. If there has been a several heavy traffic conditions in a row, the agent will extend the green light for longer time. For example, during the morning or afternoon, if the traffic is heavy, the agent will immediately turn the light green. But at night, if there is a consistent heavy traffic, the green light is extended. As the agent decides what light to show, it tracks these decisions for later analysis. This tracking is important for visualizing how the traffic light evolves over time. We are storing the state of the light, the traffic condition, and the time of the day, which we are going to use for generating an interactive graph later on. The reset history function is kind of optional, like it allows us to clear the agent's memory after a certain number of cycles. This could be useful in scenarios where you want the agent to start fresh after a few hours or some of the days. This can simulate different times of day or even handle new traffic patterns that emerge. For example, after a certain number of cycles, the agent could forget the past traffic condition to adjust a new pattern. Next, we simulate the agent over several traffic scenarios. Now, randomly selecting the time of the day and traffic conditions, we are going to loop it. This loop simulates different traffic conditions and random times of the day. The agent processes this in real time, now waiting for a brief period between each decision. After every few cycles, it resets its memory to simulate new traffic patterns. Finally, we generate an interactive graph using Plotly to visualize the traffic light sequence over time. This code creates a scatter plot where the x-axis represents time or cycles, and then the y-axis represents the state of the traffic light. The light status is mapped to numeric values, for example, 0 for red, 1 for yellow, and 2 for green, for easy plotting. The agent perceives the environment, then decides on the light action, and tracks the decisions, and also it visualizes everything in a dynamic interactive graph.
This gives us a powerful example get simple agent to manage traffic based on basic rules. Now that we have seen how simple reflex agents operate, the question is why are they important in AI? The answer is simplicity and speed. Reflex agents react instantly based on predefined rules, making them fast and efficient for quick responses in robotics and embedded systems. Then real-time systems. They make immediate decisions in real-time systems like traffic control without complex models. Next is predictable behavior. Their rule-based actions ensure predictable behavior, which is vital for safety critical applications. Now, last but not the least, applications in AI. These are used in games, robotics, automation, and systems requiring real-time decision-making without long-term memory requirement. Although simple reflex agents are useful, but they have some significant limitations. Now that's no memory. Simple reflex agents don't remember previous steps. For example, a traffic light doesn't know how much traffic was present before. It only reacts to the current traffic. Second is inflexible. For example, a reflex-based self-driving car might struggle in unpredictable environment because it relies only on rules and not learning. Now that we learned simple reflex agents, let's break down the different types of AI agents. Model-based reflex agent. These are tracking internal states to handle things it cannot directly absorb, like Tesla's navigation system. Then goal-based agents. These are taking actions based on future goals, not just the present like the chase playing AIs or Pac-Man. Utility-based agent. These are choosing actions that maximize performance like AI in stock market prediction. Then learning agent. It learns from experience to improve decision making like chatbots or self-learning AI systems. I would say each agent has its own strengths and depending on the task, we can use whatever agent is required at this point. Let's explore more groundbreaking AI research from 2025 that's shaping the future of agent development. First is Continuous Learning Conversational AI. This paper introduces a framework that enables conversational AI to personalize and adapt through continuous learning. By implementing an advantage actor critic A to C reinforcement learning approach, the study demonstrates how AI agents can optimize conversation strategies for better engagement and value delivery. Now this is my favorite that is AI agentic workflows and enterprise APIs. It proposes a strategic framework for transforming APIs to accommodate dynamic goal oriented behaviors of intelligent agents. And it offers significant implications for future enterprise computing infrastructures. Now this studies underscore the rapid advancement in AI agent development, emphasizing continuous learning, adaptability, and the integration of AI into complex computing environments. Now the best part, ChatGPT4, a great example of an AI agent, but with a twist. While ChatGPT4 uses concepts from reflex agents, it also goes beyond simple reactions. ChatGPT4 as a goal-based agent, where the perception reads your input text. The goal, its goal is to provide a relevant, helpful and coherent response to your query and then the action. Based on internal model, which includes language patterns and rules learned from vast data sets, it formulates an appropriate response. However, ChatGPT4 is not a simple reflex agent. It uses advanced natural language processing techniques, which involves understanding the context and intent behind your queries and making it a goal-based agent. For example, if you ask what is the capital of France, ChatGPT4's goal is to give you the correct answer that is Paris. It's purpose-driven system that reacts based on the goal of answering the user's query. We have explored the world of simple reflex agents, their limitations, significance, and real world uses. From traffic light controllers to AI chatbots like ChatGPT4, reflex agents are a key part of AI systems. Now, thank you for joining me today. Don't forget to comment below with your questions. See you soon.